In Creole Parametric, chamfer transitions allow you to control the geometry that results when you have two or more references intersecting each other. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here I have a part and I want to throw in a few different chamfers on the edges. Let me go to the chamfer command. I'm going to hover my mouse over an edge and rather than pick this individual edge, I'm going to tap the right mouse button to get the intent references. In other words, I'm getting the edges associated with the feature. So that is good for my first set and I'll leave it with a value of 0.5. Now I'm going to create a second set so that we have some intersections. Now I'll highlight this edge again and I'll tap the right mouse button and I'll get this set of intent edges. Now I'll select that one. So now we have some intersections between our two different sets. And just to make this a little different, let's change this chamfer value to be slightly different. So now I have these different intersections and I want to control the geometry at those intersections. To do that, I'm going to go into transitions mode. You can go into transitions mode by clicking this button on the dashboard. Also, you can right mouse click and hold and you have two icons in the mini toolbar that allow you to change between sets mode where you're adding different references and changing the dimension values and transitions mode. Be aware that you have a transitions tab, but clicking on the transitions tab will not put you into transitions mode. Either you need to use the icon in the ribbon or you need to use the icon in the mini toolbar. So now you might be able to see that it highlights the various different transitions in a pinkish color. And I can select one of the transitions and here we can see that's using a default intersect transition. From this drop down list I have a few other different choices. Instead of doing a basic intersection I can do a patch. Actually let me do the corner plane first. So I'll do the corner plane and now it's using a flat surface there as opposed to just intersecting the three. I'll select this other transition over here and again I can right mouse click and hold and you see that the value is default intersect. In other words, the default transition that Creo Parametric is going to use is going to intersect those three pieces together. But instead of an intersect, I can use a patch instead. When I choose a patch, it ends up looking the same as the corner plane that I used on the other side. But with the patch, you get another additional option. You can select a surface that it's going to throw a fillet on. So let's click in the collector for the optional surface. If I pick this side over here, you'll see that I'm getting a radius on that side of the edge that's formed. That's not what I want. Let me select in the collector again. And instead, I'll pick this top surface. And now I'm getting my corner plane, but then we're getting this rounding here. And I've got a dimensional value that I can change. Let's see if I make that 0.6. We see that it ends up getting wider or maybe I want to reduce this down to 0.3 so it's narrower in there. And so that's good for this first one. Let me hit the check mark. And again, you can see with three of these corners, here we have the default intersection, then we have the corner plane, and over here we have the patch. And again, with the patch we have the optional surface that contains a fillet. So that is good for the first chamfer in here. Let's create another chamfer and this time I'll start by selecting an edge and then from the mini toolbar I can choose the chamfer command. I'm going to hold down the control key to get this edge over here and this edge over there. So there I have my intersecting references that are forming the chamfer. Again, I can get into transitions mode by holding down the right mouse button and clicking the icon from the mini toolbar. And in this particular case, I have two different transitions. I can select this transition, and right now it's using the default intersect transition, but instead I'll go to a blend. And with a blend, it's going to use a fillet surface for the transition. So that's good, let me hit the check mark. And again, you can see the difference between the two different transitions. Here I have an intersect, and over on the other side I have a blend where I am getting a fillet. All right, now I am in a different part. Let's go to the model tab, and I'm going to create a chamfer, and I have essentially like a pyramid over here. Let's select 
the four edges using the control key. And so now I've got four references that are come together at a point. Let's go to the Transitions tab and go into Transitions mode. And I'll select this top transition. And again, we have the default intersect option. But instead of an intersect, in this case, I can do a patch. And a patch is allowed when you have three or four pieces. You'll notice that the corner plane is not available in this situation because a corner plane is only allowed when you have three pieces. So in this way, by using the patch, I'm getting sort of like a flattened surface off of there instead of the default intersect, which is going to continue the chamfers towards each other. And also in this particular chamfer, you'll notice that as it comes down here into this geometry, it's continuing the chamfer, and so it sort of slices off of the other extrude. I can select this transition over here, and when I hold down the right mouse button, I've got a few other different options in here. And I'm going to use the Stop at Reference option and select this datum plane as a reference. So you'll notice that here we have a situation where we are terminating the extent of the chamfer at this datum plane, and you can use either a datum plane or a point, but in the other situation over here, this other corner, I'm going to use the default, which is a stop case. And I'll go into more about stop cases later on, but let's hit the check mark for that chamfer. Let's go down over to this other side here, and we'll take a look at using stop at reference, but this time using some datum points. So I will select an edge in the model, and then from the mini toolbar, I'll choose to create a chamfer. I'll leave the default dimension that I am getting. And again, I can hold down the right mouse button to get into transitions mode. And here I have a transition where it is intersecting with geometry. And I can select the transition, and instead of using the default, which is a stop case, and I have stop case one and stop case two. In these situations, stop case one, two, and three are all going to be the same. There's really not too much variation I can do there in terms of how this intersects with the geometry. But with stop at reference, I'm allowed to use a, either a datum point or datum plane to control the extent of the feature. Let's do that over on the other side as well. Right click, stop at reference, and I'll select this datum point which is located along that edge. And that way we are controlling how far the chamfer is created in this particular feature. Now let's take a look at the options for blend and continue. So we will create a chamfer and I'll select this edge over here. I'm gonna pick a nice big value so it overlaps onto the main protrusion. Now let's use the right mouse button to go into transitions mode. And here we have a transition where it's intersecting with the surface on the block. And if I click on it and hold down the right mouse button, right now it's using a default continue transition. And essentially in this case over here, it is taking the side surface and it is extending it. But let's go to this other side and I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button. And instead I'm going to use a blend transition. So with the blend transition, you can see that we're not getting this side surface extended over there. We're just getting where the surface runs into the block. Let's take a look at another example of the continue option. I'll select this edge over here. Let's create a chamfer. I'm gonna drag this out so that it's big enough that it intersects the piece over there. Let's use a value here. Let's try 0.75. That's good. And again, we can use the button on the ribbon in order to go into transitions mode. And here I have this transition. And in this case here, I only have one choice. I have the default continue transition. And what it's doing in this case is essentially it's acting as if the chamfer was created first and then the cut is placed in here. And you can clearly see that it is extending the surface of the cut through the chamfer feature. For the last chamfer options, we'll take a look at the stop cases. And the stop cases are really geometry dependent. So I have a part here with a blend, and let's say that I want to chamfer this edge over here. I will select the edge and then choose chamfer from the mini toolbar. And we'll leave that nice big value of 0.75 in here. Once again, I'll use the right mouse button to go into transitions mode. 
and here we have a transition as the chamfer is intersecting other different surfaces. So I will left click on it and then hold down the right mouse button. You can see in this particular situation we have a number of different cases. We have a patch option. Now let's change from the patch to stop case one. You can see how it's choosing to stop the chamfer. Let's right click on it again and choose stop case two. So again, it changes which surface that's using sort of as where it's stopping. Here we have the default, which is stop case three. And we also have the stop it reference or the corner plane in there. So again, you can see that depending on the geometry, you'll have a number of different options and the stop cases are geometry dependent. So with that, I hope you have a better understanding of the various different transitions that you have in Creole Parametric for chamfers, and they include things like intersect, patch, corner plane, stop at reference, blend, continue, and the various different stop cases. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.